I'm probably gonna look like this in the whole vlog today. It's fine. Feeling a bit under the weather and you know what? This is what I look like. <laughs> so I have a few things that I wanted to do today. Um, I need to take care of some of my plants because some of them need watered. A good way to tell if your plant needs watered is the leaves will typically curl up like this. He is so sweet. You're so sweet. I love you so much. This is our compromise. I don't want him on the couch anymore. Well, Austin and I don't want him on the couch anymore because we're getting a new couch. Um, and so we put his dog bed on the couch. And he's only allowed on his dog bed if he wants to be on the couch. So it's our compromise. I have some plants to water and stuff. Hi, baby bee. I cannot wait for another ultrasound so that we can finally have an updated ultrasound picture. Um, but I don't get another one until 20 weeks and I'm 14 weeks today. So I still have a month and a half of waiting, unfortunately. Also, I literally can't breathe through my nose. So if I sound out of breath, it's because I can't breathe through my nose right now. So, yay allergies. I wanted to show you, I'm going to go start working in the other bathroom. I'm gonna wear a mask and I'm also going to turn the vent on and leave the doors open so that, um, because I know that during pregnancy you're not technically supposed to paint, um, but my doctor said that this should be fine. Um, so I picked up some paint for, this one is a burnt orange terracotta color and this one, is more of a creamy color. Let me show you the bathroom that I'm talking about and I'll kind of talk my plan for it. Um, we have not done a single thing to this bathroom. It's probably the only part of our house that we haven't touched yet. Um, just because we weren't really sure what to do with it and nobody sees this besides us, but it's so small, <laughs> it is so small that it's kind of hard to work around and we wanted to do it really cheap. So it's a disaster right now um, because it's mid-project, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like. In, you have this extremely small shower. Like, it's, it's a very small shower. It's small for me. It's a really old shower, so it's got like this super awkward shower door that doesn't really even work that well, so Eventually, I told Austin what we would love to do is rip this out and tile a shower because it would take away this bulky, um, the bulkiness in the shower, like back here, like how back here this kind of sticks out and takes up a huge portion of the shower. It would give us a few more inches of wiggle room and we would tile a shower here and it would look a lot nicer, but I think for now the temporary solution is going to be to take this door slash wall off if possible and just curtain it off because we don't even use the shower because it's so small. And then we've got this like peel and stick flooring that they put in here. This is a really old towel warmer. It doesn't even work. It needs taken out. Um, but honestly, I don't know what we're going to do about that because I don't know if it's still hooked up. So maybe today I can ask Austin if he can help me with that and then we'll just have to really fill a giant hole in the wall. <laughs> this like purple color, I know that they were aiming for a gray when they painted in here, but it's purple. <laughs> and then they left us this handy dandy like over the toilet cabinet thing. It's a nice cabinet, I do like it. But like I said, this bathroom is so small that this takes up too much room. So my plan here, I'll put a picture on the screen, but I want to remove this, take it out, and I want to paint an arch behind it and do two floating shelves. That way we have, it feels like there's more room, um, and then the walls will be a beige color. We're going to do some paint on the cabinets. This was the original color of the cabinets. Um, I just had to peel off the paint because the first paint that I got was like just terrible, so I'm going to have to do a new paint job, and then... I already took out the sink drain and the sink faucet. 
I have a new one to replace it. We were going to paint this sink, but honestly, um, it's like such a pain painting the sink, especially with me being pregnant because it's so chemically, I wouldn't even do it while pregnant and our bedroom is right here. So we would have to sleep somewhere else because the fumes, it has to cure for 72 hours and the fumes would be coming into the bedroom. So we're just not going to do that. <laughs> we're just going to leave it this beige color. Trust me, once I get everything put together, it's going to look fine. It'll be like a vintage -y feel. Ideally, I want to remove this really old medicine cabinet and put just like a circle mirror that's flat up against the wall and long term change this light fixture. It's kind of a hilarious light fixture. It's like fake melted candles. Again, I told you like this is what we got when we moved in guys. <laughs> that's just how it is. And then I also already have a new faucet for the sink. This is what it looks like. It's nice and cute. I got it on Amazon. So, I think the plan today, I'm either going to repaint the cabinets or paint the walls. And I'm going to get like a fake plant to hang in there and just kind of make it look more warm and, you know, more fits the rest of the style of our house. First thing that I need to do is take this shelf out of here. It's not heavy at all. It's literally hollow, like cheap wood, like Ikea wood. So, I'm going to take this out so that I can paint this wall and then probably start taking things like this off outlet covers all that good stuff and just paint my favorite thing to do when i'm painting is to listen to worship music or podcasts i am completely out of podcasts that i like listening to so if you have podcast recommendations i like just chatty ones i like helpful ones but i really really enjoy chatty ones that are also helpful and like you learn something from color um, I put two coats on it's not picking up on camera but it's like a yellow peach it's really pretty but on camera it kind of just looks white but it's a really warm tone and it's gonna look so good in here because without being able to change everything that we want to change right now um, like for example this countertop is really vintage and then like some of the hardware is really vintage but, like that light fixture <laughs> since since we're not changing everything right away, I wanted it to kind of look like we meant to go for the vintage boho look. So it's going to be very 70s in here and I'm super excited about it. Basically, this has to dry and then I'll be able to start the arch back here. And I am so excited to do that. And then I kind of want to go to Walmart or the thrift store today and look for a mirror to the re replace this one. Um, but we'll have to see if Austin will be down to go with me. So here I'm just unscrewing our old vanity. Um, however, it's like solid metal. So once I got all the screws taken out, I actually had to have Austin come in and help me because hashtag pregnant and couldn't lift it. But he was happy to help. So he pulled that out of there. And then I had to sand down the wall where the vanity was and cover some holes so that I could paint over it and hang the new mirror. Okay, so we picked up this gold circle mirror from Walmart. It's super cute, and that's going to replace the vanity that was right here. And um, I have to obviously wait for this mud to dry, paint over that tomorrow, sand it down, and then hang the mirror, and then I'll put the faucet and the drain in tomorrow and the cabinet hardware which I also got from Amazon this is the same this is the exact same hardware that we have in our bathroom so 
behind the toilet, I'm gonna do that like painted arch thing. And I saw on Instagram or TikTok that you tie like a pencil to your string and then hold the string at the center point and it will draw you like a perfect semicircle. So I'm gonna try that now and hopefully I don't butcher the wall. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I did not understand this hack at all. I should have looked it up and rewatched it to get a better idea, but basically it didn't even end up helping me at all. I just eyeballed it, which I do with most of my projects anyway. Um, but if you're super particular about it, I know that there is a hack to make it a perfect semicircle. If you look it up on like TikTok or YouTube, I'm sure there's plenty of other videos to help you do that. Okay, so the first coat on the arch is done, and it looks pretty good. I'm debating on whether or not I should bring the arch up higher, but I think I'm going to leave it where it's at. Good morning, guys. It's the next day, and I'm wearing the same sweatshirt. I do feel quite a lot better today. And honestly, I think doing this project all day yesterday like took my mind off of it and I just felt happy, <laughs> which made a difference. But the next day this paint is dried and it's so like so much warmer in here. And I, if you haven't noticed a trend in my house, everything in our house is warm. I like warm colors and warm tones because I feel like it's more inviting and cozy. And it's just more of what we enjoy. <laughs> um, so. Here's what the plan is for today. Today I have to take off the trim, the floor trim. Austin's gonna help me install new trim. I'm gonna put down the peel and stick floor tiles. I'm gonna hang the mirror, put a second coat on the arch, and possibly cut shelves for the arch. And yesterday Austin came home and he was like, wow, you've done all this by yourself. So I think that the the things that he'll for sure have to help me with is maybe hanging the mirror today and um, putting the trim on because I'm not great with measurements and stuff, but um, this is what it looked like behind the vanity, which is hilarious because you can kind of tell this was the color that they had and then this is the color I'm painting. Well, they had this behind the mirror and then painted the walls purple, so I basically am painting it back to the original color it was. Is the bathroom update and I'm still wearing my same comfy sweatshirt. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get started on some fun stuff. For the peel and stick floor tiles, it was a little bit more difficult than I anticipated, but only because I had a lot of things to cut around. I think if you were just doing a more square room, it would be super easy, but I just needed an X-Acto knife and you made to make sure that your floor is super clean and sweep, um, and then you just press them down. These specific tiles didn't line up perfectly on the pattern, but they were cheap and they were from Walmart, and Austin and I both think that they look better than what we had before. so. I definitely recommend these. Okay, so I have some extra gold spray paint. And I wasn't going to do this, but since I have the stuff for it, I'm going to spray paint the hardware from our bathroom that was already in there just to make it look a little bit more meshed together. Hello, hello. It is day three officially working on the bathroom. Um, I didn't get as much done as I had set out to yesterday because I highly overestimated my, or underestimated I should say, how hard the peel and stick floor would be. But I have, I would say, maybe like over nine, like 90 percent of the floor is done. Only a few more tiles need to get laid down. And then we gotta cut trim, put the trim up. This is all coated and done, so I'm gonna cut shelves today. Um, I actually took off the floor grate and spray painted it gold because it was this ugly brown and I thought it was gonna look horrible up against the floor, so I'm glad I did that. This, I would like to get removed from the wall. <laughs> it really needs removed, but I don't know when we're gonna be able to do that. Um, and then today we're gonna hang 
the mirror and clean up this giant mess. I just made a collagen iced coffee in this liquid IV cup that they sent me. It's a color changing cup, which is cool, but I've been having collagen in my coffee every morning since I'm pregnant. But man, I love having a project in the house to do. I, it's just so much more fun to me than sitting on a computer every day. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start laying some floor tiles down. is officially on every single piece and it looks a little rough but that's okay because it's a DIY project and then I put on the little outlet covers um, toilet paper holder and towel rack I didn't want to buy new just because I just didn't feel like spending the extra money on that Quite a bit later since I filmed the rest of the video and I am quite a bit more pregnant. I actually filmed I think the last part before I had even announced and I've just been like putting it off now. So I'm going to show you the finished product of my bathroom that I redid all by myself for very cheap and I'm in love with it. Time to move. 